hi everyone in this tutorial i'm gonna be showing you how i fixed the future update to windows 10 version 1709 failed to install the methods i'm about to show you have managed to help me to fix pretty much any windows update failure on different occasions so this means even if uh, you have another windows update failure which is not future update to windows 10 version 1709 failed to install you can still pretty much try out uh, one of my methods because uh, it should be able to help you it has helped me on different occasions solve uh, that problem um, I managed to fix uh, this problem with two uh, methods, so I'm going to be showing you both the methods. And I would like also to let you know that I'm not going to be diving into uh, uh, the details of how and what causes the error, but I will rather dive straight to showing you how I managed to solve this annoying error. Okay, guys, I understand many tutorials. I've tried to show you the, one of the techniques that I'm about to show you, and I've seen so many people complaining that it didn't work for them, and I... I would like to acknowledge that that method works. It's just the way that the tutorials are instructing you to follow the steps. Some of the steps are jumped and it's not just done the right way. So please follow along with me and do exactly as I do. This should be able to help you solve your Windows 10 update failure problem. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So the first technique that I'm going to be showing you uh, will require us to stop Windows Update Service. And again, this is where I have seen most videos go wrong. The steps from which they follow to stop the Windows Update Services really doesn't go well with Windows 10. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that the right way, at least the way I think it works because it has worked for me. So to stop Windows Update Services, I would like you to click on your Windows Search. I want you to type Services. From the results, I want you to click on Services, the desktop app. On the Services screen under the name column, click on any row, just any row, just click once, and then press W. Under W, I want you to search for Windows Update. Scroll down until you find Windows Update. Here we go. Right click on Windows Update. Many of the tutorials tell you to stop it from here, just stop it from here, but the, again, Sometimes Windows have a way of restarting this automatically. So what we're going to do, we're going to permanently stop it for at least a moment in a way that Windows cannot restart it automatically. So go to Properties. From Properties under the General tab, look for Startup Type Field, which is this one here. And then I want you to select Disabled. Let's just disable the service. I want you to click on Apply. OK. And then at this time, we have to restart our machine. We have to restart our machine from here. So after our system comes back from a restart, the next thing that we're going to want to do is to find the software distribution folder and delete that folder. Or else if we can't delete that folder, for some reason, sometimes files inside that folder are used by the system and you cannot just delete it. What we're going to want to do is to make sure that all the content in that folder is deleted. Sometimes it's a challenge, but I will show you how I do this. Uh, it's a challenge because some of the files are in use with the system, so the system can't allow you to just delete them. But anyway, with that said, let's just first find this folder. To find this folder, just open up your Windows Explorer, click on my on this PC, and uh, go to the drive where your Windows is installed. In my case, mine is under Windows C. Search for Windows, open it. Inside the Windows folder, let's search for Software Distribution folder. This is the folder. If you can just try to right click on this folder and delete it, it's okay. Just delete it. Like in this case, it's gone. But sometimes you're not going to be able to delete it. You'll find that some of the files inside the folder are being used by the system. So what you need to do in that case is to open the folder, go and delete each and every content inside that folder. And if you find there's a folder that doesn't want to get deleted, open that folder and try to delete one file at a time. Okay. Delete them up until you find that all the files in those folders within that folder are all deleted you just keep on trying uh, sometimes the system is using the files and then it releases them so just keep on trying up until you get the files del released by the system and then manage to delete them but anyway our goal is to make sure the software distribution folder is deleted or all its content inside it is deleted so in this case we finished deleting it and the last step we need to do as far as this uh, method is concerned is to remember always to go back and restart our Windows Update service. The way we stopped our Windows Update service is 
permanent okay if you don't go there manually to restart it it means windows won't be able to start it and now your system won't even be able to uh, to to run windows update because the service would be uh, stopped so what we need to do is we need to go back the way we went there in the first place we need to just open windows search and then search for services this is the application that we need to open double uh, click on it under the name column i want you to press w and then under all w's search for windows update this one here you can see here it's disabled so i want you to right click on it properties and then here you can either choose automatic or manual let's just say manual and then let's start it so we know it's start, it started and it it will be running okay so you can see it's running and uh, we've started it so what you need to do here is to restart your computer like i said in the beginning many videos have shown you how to use this technique but they haven't shown you the right steps so the last step here is to make sure you restart your machine hopefully when your computer comes back from a restart you will be able to see your windows updates either downloading if it wasn't downloading or you would be able to download them and install them if you couldn't install them before before i go guys uh, remember we had uh, spoken about the second method of how to solve this problem and uh, with the first method uh, in place uh, if you still need to try out a second method this is the second method so the second way i've solved this problem is by running a windows update troubleshooting tool you do that by clicking on the start button click on settings and then within the search in settings i want you to search for troubleshooting from the results we need to select the first one which is troubleshooting and then under system and security you will see fixed problems with windows update i want you to click on that i want you to click next try troubleshooting as an administrator if you get to this uh, screen the troubleshooting tool will go to your system and try to find any problem that is stopping your windows from up, uh, running updates or installing updates hopefully it will fix it on its own it will resolve the issues and once it finished resolving the issues it's going to show you what the issue was so in uh, in that case it's even showing me here that it managed to fix the problem so this is the second technique that i have used to solve the same problem and if you feel like the first technique didn't work for you i want you to try the second technique guys these techniques have helped me on different occasions and i hope they help you on different occasions as well please don't forget to subscribe like the videos share but most importantly subscribe that's the love that you show back that you appreciate the hard work that we put in into creating these videos peace i'm out